All right, everyone, welcome back to RCH Builder. So today we're actually out at that little quick job where we had put the insulation behind where the bathtub is going. Um, and that where that's all we were doing, we were putting in the rock wall behind there and around all the exterior walls. And we were hanging sheetrock, rehanging sheetrock on the exterior walls. All the rest of the work inside here was being done by a separate contractor uh, because we couldn't get to it in time. So they were having someone else do that. And then they did not include adding insulation in any of these walls or nothing like that. So we ripped all the old old plaster off, insulated them, and then sheetrocked it. And we have done the tape coat on it today. That's all, that's all we did. We hung all this sheetrock and I taped all of the joints. I just finished with that. The only spot where there isn't any is in where the bathtub is going to go. Uh, they still haven't installed that, but there will be tile going there. Um, again, we sheetrocked all back through there, got that taped. Uh, the ceilings, again, all of this is done by the uh, is to be done by the other contractor, so we're not having to do anything with that. Uh, same thing in here. Again, we just did the walls, basically exterior walls from that corner across to there and then that's that other room that you just saw a second ago from out in the other spot now the main reason why i was actually wanting to show you all this is because i wanted to show you something that we found when we were here and i'm going to spin the camera around so something that we found that i found while we were here and I may end up spinning the camera back around in a second, but what I found is this box right here. And there's actually multiple other places in this house that I have noticed things like this. This box, there's just this one box and the wires coming into it, I found and counted off 14 code violations. Now the actual violate the actual codes that were violated, there was one two, three, four codes that were violated. And the number of times that they were violated equates to, actually it was five, sorry, uh, it was five. And the number of times that each one of those uh, codes were violated comes up to a total of 14 code violations. And I wanna show you what those are. So, one of the first things that, I, that there is, is if you look up here, the distance from this wire to the front of this uh, two by four here, and it goes all the way across, it does it here as well. So you can see it's an even one all the way across there. The distance from there is supposed to be a minimum of one and one eighth of an inch to it, so that no nails or screws from the sheetrock will hit it. Now, because it is not like that, the solution is what they did here, nail plates. So this is the first code that was violated and it was violated one, two, three times. There should be three nail plates there. So that's, that's code violation one and the number of times. Code violation two is these wires right here. You can see those staples, look how close that is. I mean, I can't even fit my finger between there and the edge of the stud. So these, again, they're supposed to be stapled holding that wire back one and an eighth of an inch. Now this wire, they did it correctly. It's stapled back there and that's fine. But these wires, they got stapled right up against the edge of the stud. And they did that one, two, three, four, four times. So there's code violation number two, and it is violated four times. So we got three and four, that makes seven already, and we haven't even gotten into the box. The next code that was violated is from the where the wire enters the box to the first staple is supposed to be a maximum of six inches for Romex. Now, it depends on what you're working with. If you're working with uh, MC or different things, it's a different code. MC is eight inches, um, EMT is 12 inches. But for Romex, it's supposed to be six inches. So there should be a staple at least right here 
uh, yeah, at least right here. This one is technically probably about two inches away. However, most of the specials aren't going to care about it. It's, it's close enough. But this one, there definitely should have been another one right here. So that's code violation number three. One time. Technically, you could say two, but we're not going to get technical about just an inch or two. On that case, we're going to let that one that one slide. So we'll say we are got three code violations, uh, codes that were violated, and then eight code violations in those. The next uh, one that we have is this ground, and I'm probably going to have to flip so I can get close so you can actually see this. There we go. Okay, so in this box, remember in a previous video where I showed you how to make up a switch and light box, which they don't have them made up, uh, that's not really a code issue. The only thing for code is that the grounds have to be tied together. However, what they did, as you see, they cut these wires off right there. Can you imagine ever having to come into this box and then redo this box? And you got no wire. You got about maybe an two inches of wire to try to play with. You, you can't do nothing with that. Uh, and it is a code violation. So in that video, I had shown that it from where it enters the box, it's supposed to be a minimum of six inches. That wire, it's not folded the way that I do, that I showed you. It's not folded, so it is, it is definitely only about two inches instead of six. So that is code number four that was violated. And there are two wires, there's three wires coming in, there's one here, there's two that have been cut. So it's been violated twice, coming up to with a total of 11 code violations. And I think I just realized, looking in this box, that we're actually at 15. So the next code violation, and let's see if it is visible on camera. It looks like it is um, to make it a little bit easier, let's get you a little bit closer. So the fifth code that was violated is you are not allowed to use a screw or nail through the side of a plastic box. Now there is a specific definite reason for that. The reason is this box cannot be grounded. It's plastic. Every one of these screws in here, if a wire got nicked or burnt or the outlet got wiggled in any way, it can hit these screws and these screws are not grounded. That is a reason why a, pl a plastic box is supposed to isolate all of the electrical inside there where it cannot get outside the box. So each one of these screws is a code violation and they have one, two, three, four, and five screws in a plastic box. So that is five times that the fifth code was violated, coming up with a total of 15 code violations, just in this one little box. And I have found throughout the rest of this house, and I'm just putting this back in the way they had it because it's, it's theirs, not mine. Um, but I've found multiple other things like that in this house. Boxes like this done incorrectly. Many, many, um, it is very, unfortunately, too common to see stuff like this. Um, that's part of why I started my own company is because I wanted things to be done right. So again, um, having an issue here and there to me, you know, yes, maybe you'll miss something, but this is 15 in a six foot span, 15 code violations. Uh, that's a little bit excessive in my opinion, but um, wanted to let y'all see that. Just uh, some things that I find in the field, um, I've seen much worse, unfortunately, but uh, wanted to let y'all see that. So hope y'all enjoyed watching uh, the video. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions you would like to ask a licensed builder, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section and I'll see what I can do to answer it or maybe do a video showing you um, the correct thing, way to do it. Uh, maybe even just a talking video about the proper way to do things. So um, again, there's... There is different ways that people can do different things and it's not necessarily wrong, but if it is a code violation, it is wrong. So how you get to the solution of the 
correct way of doing things, that part does not matter. But in the end, it should be correct. Y'all have a good day.